Hello, I'm Thomas Carruthers. I'll be going over mobile databases today, but before I start, I would like to inform you if I'm off looking to the side or anything, I apologize for that. It's I broke my computer screen earlier this month, and so I'm having it go through to my TV, and I'm just checking to make sure that the camera's still rolling and everything. I've already had my computer freeze on me twice doing this, so uh, here we go. I'll continue. Anyway, mobile databases, uh, they're stored within uh, the mobile device itself. Uh, they store uh, and share uh, inf uh, data over a mobile network, uh, usually relying on a strong central database at the hub. Uh, these mobile databases, uh, they also use uh, powerful uh, networks to distribute the necessary information for apps and stuff like that. Uh, simple things such as your contacts list. Uh, can work off of a database, as well as other things you wouldn't think, like uh, purchase information or price information uh, from buying something on the Google Play Store. Um, um, most apps require download from information repositories to function when they uh, when the information is unavailable wirelessly. So, for instance, you download an app and you get all the information for how it's supposed to run and everything, so that whenever you disconnect from the Wi-Fi or your data network, then uh, that app still has enough information to run accordingly, as long as it, the app itself doesn't require a uh, network connection. Um, so anyway, a uh, mobile database, uh, for instance, uh, you can take out your phone and uh, go check your contacts list, and uh, like be sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi first, you can check your contacts list. You can see that all the information is there for your contacts. You can go through. You can call mom if you want. And then you go and you disconnect from the Wi-Fi. And then uh, also disconnect from the data. That, then you can still go through your phone and everything, and you can still see all your contacts, all the information there. However, due to you not being able to connect to the data, you can't. it doesn't have the information needed to actually dial that number and actually call your mother. It has the data necessary to call uh, emergency uh, services like 911, for instance, though, but uh, it restricts access to any other data like uh, connection. Um, now, uh, all the information is still there to contact them. It just uh, the access restrictions causes it to where you can only uh, you can only look at the information there. Um, mobile databases there, uh, they use caches. Uh, to maintain data in the case of connection failure. So, for instance, uh, let's say I'm sitting there playing my game, and then all of a sudden my phone just, like, craps out and disconnects from the Wi-Fi, and I don't have data right now. So instead of just totally forgetting everything I just did, the phone will save some of the information from the last app I was using. So, I uh, so like... Maybe if I'm lucky enough, I can go onto that game and I can still have the information necessary for that. But uh, anyway, uh, the downfall, downfall to mobile databases is that they tend to cause the device to have a slower CP, uh, CPUs and they often shorten battery life. But mobile devices, I mean, they're not meant to run forever. They're supposed to have a charge and then run a little bit but all the information does eventually take its toll on the device and battery life becomes shortened. But anyway, uh, mobile devices are a really great. Uh, they're really great to use, though, and the databases rely on work very well. So that's all. I hope you have a great day. Bye.